Hi everybody, this is Leslie with Black Dog Vintage and I'm super excited to bring you this video. I won two different auctions this weekend and I just went and picked them up. They were local Hybid auctions. So if you haven't checked out Hybid um, and you're a reseller, definitely check out Hybid. It's great. Um, you can find lots of local auctions in your area and um, even if they're not in your area, you can always find auctions that you can get shipped to you. Um, and I'm not sponsored by Hybid or anything, but Hybid is awesome and uh, I found two local auctions and I went and picked up my auctions today the ones that I won got lots of great jewelry and uh, I'm super excited to bring that to you uh, if you hear Angel in the background she got a new squeaky toy today um, so uh, one I just got a few different lots um, just a couple small lots but the other auction um, I just got a ton um and the one auction uh the bigger one that i got stuff from i spent about 350 dollars uh which is a lot for me and uh but i just i got a ton and including two bulk lots um like mystery lots of jewelry so uh those i might say for a second video uh so stay tuned for that one and then um uh, but there's a lot of really beautiful jewelry, including a um, 14 karat gold brooch that I got, which I can't believe that I got in this lot. So um, if you haven't uh, shopped with me before, my name is Leslie, Black Dog Vintage. Uh, the dis in the description, it has all the instructions of how to shop with me. Um, if you if things aren't purchased on this video you can always get them on my live sale um things may go higher in the live sale than they do on the video that often is the case so definitely uh, check things out here in the video um i just require that you send me an email or a text message with the uh, timestamp and the price and a short description of the item and I can get that off to you. I, I invoice via PayPal. Um, so uh, I'll also put up a little blurb of, you can do a little screenshot of how to purchase from me. Um, and if you like my content, if you like my videos, please uh, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It is always free to subscribe. So that would great. That would be great. That would make me super happy. Um, it helps me be able to continue to uh, bring content like this to continue to bring jewelry like this to everybody so um, that would make me very happy and hopefully make other people very happy as well um, so let's get to the jewelry super excited to bring all of this to you all right thanks okay the first item from the first auction is going to be this mary what is it? Mero, Merlena, Merlena, Marlena, I think. First I thought it was Mariana, but I think it's Marlena Stone uh, bracelet. And uh, this is a really big chunky bracelet. And it has a beautiful crystal and a gold tone chain and a couple different um, textures. And then freshwater pearls and some other crystal rondelles and then this one has these large i believe this is lapis um like a faceted large lapis and this is absolutely gorgeous this is the other side of the um the i guess the tag on it um, really cool crystal chunky bracelet and uh, the size on this is going to be let me just get that for everybody the size on this bracelet is going to measure anywhere between a seven and a half and it can be all the way up to 10. But don't forget this chunkiness is gonna take up some room. So, you know, it. even though it, the length actually measures that seven and a half, you might need that extra room because it is so darn chunky. 
Um, so it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I have this one. I actually got two different ones. But this this one with the lapis, um, I believe that's lapis. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I believe that is lapis. Um, this one is going to be 45 for this bracelet. It is so absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. And it's a pretty rare piece. And I have to look into this. Um, I saw somewhere online that it is a Michigan designer, which I'm not positive if that is true or not, but it could definitely be a Michigan designer. And I am in Michigan, so quite possible. Um, this is the other one that I have. And this looks like some kind of maybe quartz or something. And again, with the freshwater pearls, the amethyst, beautiful amethyst crystals. This looks like it could be like a, maybe some kind of white quartz, maybe. I don't think it's moonstone. There's no glow to it. Um, some brass, but I love those crystals. And then like a green freshwater pearl. And then like an opaline kind of crystal. Absolutely beautiful. And again, it's that really big, chunky, chunky look to it. And um, it's going to be the same length. And it just clips. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And again, Marlena stone. It looks like it's got like a little bit of a mar on there. And there's a little bit of wear to it to the metal on it a little bit, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So 45 on this one as well. So, so, so beautiful. So unique. Definitely not going to see anybody else wearing anything like this. You definitely, and you, you know, you want to be able to be good with pulling off a big chunky, chunky bracelet like this. Um, but I kind of like this mixed metal look too, because you've got the shiny gold and that brass. Super cool. So this is that Marlena Stone. Um, both of them, uh, $45 a piece. So just let me know if you're interested, which one you like. Um, and then from that same auction group, I just got those two. And then in this bag, there should be some amber. So let's see. Let us see. Yep. It looks like it. So we have um, two amber crosses and then earrings. So we will hope all of this is right. So we have the amber, beautiful amber and sterling silver cross. And this is marked let me see here. Mark 925 there. And let's see if this amber glows. It certainly looks to be glowing. Let me just turn off this other light just to be sure. Yep. That does what we want it to do. That's the right kind of glow for the amber. It's that soft glow, not that super bright. So soft glow to the amber. So good. That's what we want. And then this is the same. Um, so we want that that says the 925 there. And then this should be the, yeah, that soft glow right in there. Yeah, that soft amber glow. There we go. And, know about this chain I'm not seeing any marks on this we might have to test the chain 
see if this chain is sterling. It's pretty. It is a pretty chain. All right, and then here we have some earrings. Those earrings are really nice. The earrings are stamped at the bottom there. And then they do have that glow as well. There they go. And they go very nicely. So those are amber. So we have some amber earrings. And then two, uh, two sterling silver crosses. And the um, amber... So the earrings, two, two sterling, sterling silver crosses, and then let's test the chain. So let me go get my um, my stone and my uh, 18 karat gold testing solution so we can test for the silver. So that's what I like to use is the 18 karat. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's take a look and see whether or not this chain, Hello. There. Why is this not? There we go. Okay. Let's see if this chain is uh, silver. Looks like it could be. It's not really eating, wait, what's going on? It's not really eating up the lines, but it's not really turning blue either. So I'm gonna say it is not. So that chain is a beautiful chain, but it's not, it might be silver plates or something, but it's not silver. Now, I just wanna be sure on this cross and Let's be, let's just do a quick, um, let's just do a quick, quick test on the cross. And that is definitely turning blue. So the cross is good. Whew. Anyways, would hate that you know there was nothing would be worse than to be like oh yeah that's sterling especially when it's like got that beautiful amber in there and everything and all right let's test the earrings that looks pretty good there but you never know and wrong solution And that's turning nice and blue. So the earrings are beautiful. And let's test the other cross to be on the safe side. And don't mind Angel. And that is turning nice and blue there as well. Whew, there we go. All right. So let's get some prices on these. So this chain, since the chain is really nice, but the chain is not sterling, I'm just going to say, I'll say $15 on this chain. Um, even though the chain is the chain is quite nice though. So 15 on the chain, on this rope chain. But this cross, this amber and um this amber and sterling cross, we're gonna say um 
either one of them since they are the exact same. Oops. So they could be matching crosses if you, you know, just in time for Christmas or something. Okay, so for either one of these crosses, we're gonna say 45 for um, either one. Now this one here has um, a little bit of a lighter amber on the outer two um, edges of the cross on the right and the left. This one has a little bit more of like a darker. So, but either one, $45, okay? And then for the earrings, um, these are absolutely gorgeous amber earrings, and that is the back of them. Um, and we're going to say 65 for the earrings. So absolutely beautiful on those. So that is everything from the first auction win. And um, I'm super, super excited about that one. So now we're going to get into the second auction win, which um, is quite, uh, quite crazy, quite big. So we are going to uh, have fun with this one. All right. Um, like I said, we're going to probably have to do it in two because there are two larger like bulk lots. Um, and, uh, so those two bulk lots we're probably going to do just in its own video itself. Um, so let's see, this is lot 112. This is older art glass bead necklaces. So these are definitely older. Okay. So this is all handmade lampwork beads. These are incredibly old. These are most likely done in Italy. Look at these, these are incredible. These are all wired together. That's a wire there. These are, these are definitely probably early, early 1900s at least. Very, very old. Very, very, very old. And I would say this is probably, um, let me get a length on this. This is easily uh, 38 inches long. And with the age on these beads, the fact that they are original Italian made, probably even Murano, um, but old, 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 old beads. Um, I'm gonna say this, this necklace is going to be $65. This is just absolutely stunning, stunning, and one of a kind, just absolutely gorgeous. So $65 on this particular necklace. All right, so next we have this other one. This was in the same lot and um, let's see. This is also very old. Look at that. This is really beautiful. So this, let's see here. This is going to be Look at this, This is these are glass beads, also handmade. The age on this is probably, I would say probably easily 1930s, 20s, 30s. This is old also. These beads are literally, oh my God. These are stunning. Look at that. That is exquisite. Look at the bead caps on this and the little pearl rondelles in between. That is exquisite. And then it's got just a little brass spring ring. And you can see the little spring ring for the age. That is 
unbelievably beautiful. And the length on this is going to be about 15 inches. And this necklace here, I'm gonna say 55 on this one. This is also a very one-of-a-kind piece. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this, these beads are also handmade and absolutely just decadent. That is just gorgeous. Just per perfect. They're, they're just perfection. Absolutely perfection, absolutely gorgeous. All right, next I have, this is lot 162. Let's see, 162 on my uh, vintage brooches, enamel, and rhinestone. It does say, please inspect photos, items as found. So there might be some issues. We'll see. Um, what did I pay for? Um, all right, so I only paid 13 for the lot on these. Looks like I have some repair to do. So this one here, lots of repair. So this looks like it's a pendant or a brooch. Lot to repair. So I'm gonna set that over in my repair pile. This one here, this one only has the little bit of enamel issue. That's not a huge deal. This is still absolutely gorgeous. Lots of age to it. Really pretty. Um, if anybody's interested in this for 10, I'll do 10 on that one. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. And that is an old JJ. Wow. That's an old JJ. Um, hmm, I'm gonna do a little research. So I literally cannot find this brooch anywhere, like at all. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or anything. So um, for now, I'm gonna ask 35 for this one. Um, I don't know if that's high or low. So, um, so I'm gonna say that that's pretty much middle of the road for a JJ. So, um, but this is absolutely stunning. I've never seen a JJ like this and that's an old JJ insignia. So um, this is probably like 1970s, I would imagine. That's like the Egyptian revival time. So uh, I'm gonna say 35 for this JJ brooch. It's super cool. Super, super cool. Um, okay, next one I have is lot 173 rhinestone bouquet brooch. And let's see what this one looks like. It's pretty. And this is what it looks like. Ew, that is gorgeous. Look at that. It has lots of nice detail to it. Um, absolutely stunning. And it has no signature, but it does have a pendant back or a brooch back. The brooch pin back extends quite a bit further than the safety, which indicates a little bit more age to it. Um, that is really quite pretty. It's got the three rhinestones. That's really quite nice. I'm gonna say, um, we're gonna say 20 on this one. This is really quite nice. $20 on this brooch. I like that. 20 on that. And then this is 134, lot 134. And what is my, it says, Shinazari bobble necklace with tassel cloisonne. All right. And let's see what it looks like. This is cool. So it's a nice long, oh, this is super cute, look at this. So it's a long necklace on this really cool chain. Look at these little, look at these little cloisonne beads on there. Gold tone, has a little lobster claw clasp there. Gold tone, it's got the little silk um, 
knotted ball there. And it's got the tassel. It's got some a cloisonne bead and a cloisonne fish. That is so amazing. Look at this. I love this. So adorable. And we're going to say 35 on this. This is really... Okay, so this necklace is really, really gorgeous. It's so pretty. Look at that. Cloisonne, look at that. Let's get a measurement on this. And let's see. It is, as my measuring tape is falling onto the ground. Um, but beautiful long necklace. And it's 30 inches long. So 30 inches. And it has this tassel and the fish and the, the bead there. And it's got the little bead accents. God, this is cute. I just love this. And really big links towards the bottom. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, so 35 on that one. I believe that's what I said. Um, okay, so next lot. So we've got this whole box of jewelry here. So next lot of jewelry, we have number 215. Number 215 is Mom, Nolan Miller Enamel Heart Slide Pendant Necklace. All right. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this is pretty. So... That is the Nolan Miller heart. It's on a long gold tone chain. Gosh, that's cute. Is that really adorable? I really like this. That's really, really nice. Look at that. And you can see Nolan Miller Thailand right there. And really beautiful. Very, very pretty. I'm not really sure what Nolan Miller pieces go for. Um, so let me check this particular one. Um, that is really, really pretty. Let me just check this one. Okay, so for this this one here, we're gonna say um, we're gonna say twenty five dollars for this, and this has the long twisted chain. This is quite beautiful. So $25 for this Nolan Miller um, piece. And it's it's an enamel, it's done in like a cloisonne style. And uh, it looks like it's brand new. I mean, there's no wear to it whatsoever. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the chain that it's on is quite long. Um, could definitely be used for other items as well. If you wanted to put this on a shorter chain, you could. Um, this particular one is a 30 inch long chain. So really, really pretty with the red and yellow on the gold tone. Really, really pretty. Okay, next item is number 355. 355 Cuisine Bangle Hinged Bracelet. All right, this is really pretty. I am a huge Cloisonne fan, if you haven't already noticed. So this one is a beautiful Cloisonne bracelet, and it's got the butterflies and the flowers. This is really, really quite nice. And this is, I am a seven inch wrist, and this is even slightly big on me, so definitely probably could fit anywhere probably up to at least a seven and a half three quarters maybe even close to an eight um really gorgeous definitely vintage i'm gonna say 25 on this bracelet that's beautiful okay next one we have oh this might be it 24. So this is the one that I was kind of alluding to earlier. This is an Israeli brooch that is an absolutely gorgeous piece. I'm not positive what this stone is. We'll, we'll take it with the presidium. 
This is a pendant and a um, brooch and pops open and it is stamped. Five eighty five, made in Israel. Five eight five. That's what it looks like, and that's what it was on the. Um, that's what it was on the uh, auction lot as, and we'll see whether or not the stone is anything. I have my presidium right here and we're gonna pull this out and see if this registers as anything so so it just goes up into the glass so that could be just some kind of glass cabochon all right so the next thing I want to do is as 585 so 585 is an international um, like insignia, stamp, whatever if you want to call it, for 14 karat gold. So is this 14 karat gold? I don't know. Is it? Let's see. Um, I guess we'll do it on here. Got a good scraping on there. Pull out my 14 karat solution. I hope so. I hope it's 14 karat. Hmm. No. Does not look like it. At least not on the little edge. Well, we'll see. Let me see. That's what I look under my loop. Is this actually silver? Maybe it doesn't say. Maybe they misread it. Is that nine? Is that a nine? I don't know. I mean, it scratches. It scratches. Let's try the 18 karat solution. Oh, it turns blue. It's silver. So it's not gold, it's silver. Well, I'm okay with that still. It's sterling it's not gold but it's sterling so so it's probably just miss they couldn't read it or whatever made in Israel it's probably a nine or something but it's definitely sterling And definitely has some tarnish to it, but that is literally a stunning, stunning pendant or pendant. Well, pendant slash brooch. That is gorgeous. Now I never polish my vintage silver. Um, so um, if anybody is interested in this, I mean, I was hoping it would be gold, but it's not. But that's okay. Um, it's still this gorgeous, gorgeous piece with a blue glass, mottled glass cabochon. Um, I am unsure about those pearls. They could be real. They may not be. I am unsure about the, those pearls. Um, but 
but this is definitely at age based on the look of the pin back. Um, and it is a silver piece made in Israel. I'm going to say $65 on this piece. This is really stunning. So $65 on that. That is beautiful. Okay. Lot 137 is next. So 137 is opera length check glass bead necklace. Opera length, also known as flapper length for some people. Um, so we have two of them actually. And this is, oh wow, look at those crystals. So those are a really cool, these are all individually knotted. Look at the, look at, they're like a, kind of like an egg-shaped facet. Um, and they have a spring ring. And so that is one necklace, not graduated or anything. Oh, and then we have a shorter necklace. This is a graduated necklace. This is, uh, these all have little seed beads in between. Um, so both are glass beads. So this, this opera length or flapper length necklace is, uh, let me get a measurement on this one. And it is gorgeous. I love this length of necklace. Boy, oh boy, do I ever. And it would help if I put the measuring tape in the right direction. Okay, so this is 60 inches long. So 60 inch long, look at that. All hand knotted. And look at the string even. Yeah, this is old. <laughs> That's really old. Um, I'd say this is definitely probably like 19, easily probably 1930s, if not even before. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, we're going to say uh, 55 on this necklace. And then for this faceted beauty, um, that is a length of, this is also a really good length. Um, this is 22, yeah, 22 inches long and with beautiful graduated faceted black beads, all black glass. And I'm going to say 35 on this one. So 35 on the shorter one. Super pretty. All right. Next I have, this one was an interesting lot. This is lot... 40, I think, or 140. Yeah, matte red rose bouquet brooches. And these are, there's several of them. I thought these were cool. So look at these, aren't they cool? They are, these are all red matte metal. I don't even know if that would be considered enamel. I don't think so. And then... These might even be newer. It says DM97. I'm not sure what that is. And then this is the same little flower. And this is the same. This and then this. Okay, so. Um, we're going to say, so all of these are this DM at 97 or C97. So, and they're all the same. So any one of these, I'm going to say $8 for any one of these. So eight each, okay, for each of these, $8. And then I have this little red rose with the little rose bud and we're gonna say six dollars for him and then this little red rose that's just a single and we'll say five for that one that one's very pretty and then next i have number 168 it just says vintage costume statement earrings and i thought these were really really pretty um they look like they could be something. I don't know. They're not marked, but 
they're just, I thought they were really, really beautiful. They are dingle, they are post. They have this red marquee um, at the top with the emerald and then the um, baguette. Oh no, that's missing a stone. <gasps> and they're missing a stone on both of them. Oh man, that goes in my repair pile. Dang, that makes me unhappy. Let's see. All right, next one. We'll do lot 599. 599. 12 karat gold fill cameo necklace and earring set. Okay. Here we go with that one. So here are. Like they are resin cameo. And there is the little ladies. I think it's red. Oh, maybe it's not. Is that shell? That may be shell, actually. I just assumed that it was resin, but actually, looking at it now, it may be shell. Look at the. necklace. So here's our necklace. Huh. I'll be. One twentieth, twelve karat gold fill. There she is. And I'll be, it's, this is shell. Huh. Okay. Well, cool. So we've got a little shell cameo set here. And it's, um, we've got the earrings and then we've got the necklace. And it's a whole little set, 12 karat gold fill. And let's see here, the necklace. Is going to be 18 inches. Um, very, very pretty. So the necklace and earring set, we're gonna say 45 for the necklace and earring set. That is very, very pretty. And it is actual shell. I didn't think it was when I first saw it online, but now that I feel it, it is actually a shell cameo set. Sweet. Gotta love that. All right, next I have lot number eight. And this says 925 stamps TD50 Mexico Sterling earrings. Okay. So these are pretty and they are hollow and they are marked and all right these are very pretty and let's see whether or not they are really sterling i hope so let's see let us see, let us see if they are. Yep, I see blue. Yay, okay. So we got another pair of sterling earrings. And these are beautiful, very, almost like modernist kind of look to them. Very like 1980s, um, really, really pretty. Really, really pretty look to them. They are clip. And uh, I'm going to say $50 on these. These are really gorgeous little sterling earrings. Okay. Um, 
Now I have lot number 501. 501 is a vintage good luck horseshoe brooch. And I like my horseshoes. Oh, look at this one. This one's super cute. Oh, it does have some wear to the pearls, which is too bad. Those can be replaced. Um, that is the back of it. But look at that. It's really pretty. Um, right now, as is, I'm going to say $10, but I might be able to work on this. But as is right now for the little horseshoe, I'm going to say 10 on the horseshoe. All right, next, uh, lot 378, Rose Quartz Sterling Silver Ring, size 7. Okay, this, part of me doesn't want to give this one up. Look at this ring. Look at this ring. Is this not like the most gorgeous ring you have ever seen, ever? I am literally, I fell in love with this ring. Um, I'm going to put it up for sale. Um, if nobody wants it, that is okay with me because I wouldn't mind keeping it for a little bit, but I'm gonna put it at a fair price. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if anybody wants it for this price. I don't know. If not, that's totally fine with me. I'm gonna make sure it's really sterling. Don't mind Angel, she's making a lot of noise in the background today. And, yep, turn a nice bright blue. Don't mind, I've got like, I got the solution on my finger and it's just like causing all kinds of issues. All right, nice bright blue, so we have sterling. Okay. So this is gorgeous, and that is rose quartz. It's a really pretty like shade of rose quartz, it's almost like a like a flesh tone almost. Um, but that is absolutely gorgeous, and look at that on the sides, right there. And I'm gonna say for this ring, I'm gonna say ninety five dollars. It is a size seven. Um, and I have my ring sizer here, which some of you guys know that I lose this ring sizer all the time, um, but I did not today. So yeah, it is a size seven, right on the button, size seven. Um, but I'm gonna say 95 for this ring. It is literally like, so darn gorgeous. So 95 on this ring. It's like the best ring I've ever seen in a, in a long time. In a long, long time. Okay, next I have lot 139. The 139 is an Irwin Pearl Rhinestone Faux Pearl Brooch. Look at this. I love my Erwin Pearl jewelry. Erwin Pearl had his, his heyday was the 80s. He had stores, a lot of standalone stores back in the 80s. Very, very gorgeous pieces. Look at that. Look at that. And then Erwin Pearl, E Pearl right there. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. Wow, look at that piece. Wow, I'm gonna say 45 for this brooch. This is just literally stunning. So 45 for this Irwin Pearl brooch. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next, lot 29. 29 is a disco gold tone, tone belt and necklace okay so this is the belt this is just a gold tone chain belt just listed a whole bunch of these types of belts on ebay um and this just has a little republic of france little dangle off the end it is just this simple gold tone and it's got a little hook it does not um no names on this whatsoever 
and the total length on this belt is going to be anywhere between a 31 and a 36 whoops um, a 31 and a 36 and this is the type of belt that's meant to hang on your hips um, so I'm just going to say on this belt, we're going to say $10 on the belt. Um, and then the necklace though, this necklace is really kind of stunning. I love this kind of like mesh style necklace. This is not marked at all. And this is what it's going to look like on. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's pretty. And it's kind of like a bib necklace in a way. And we are looking at 16 inches. And I'm going to say $15 on that. That is really, really nice. That's really pretty. Um, okay. Ooh, this is nice. Wow, $193. And what does this say for $193? 193 was sold as a large coat of arms medallion brooch. Large coat of arms medallion brooch. Okay. I just remember thinking it was pretty. Um, I guess it goes like this. It's a little off center now that I see this. It's a little off center. Unless it goes like this. Maybe it goes like that. No, I think it goes like that. I think it goes like that. I'm not sure. Now it must go like this, but doesn't it seem like that's off center? Hmm. It did not look off center in the photos, but I mean, it looks like maybe it's supposed to be like this because there's like that little like wreath portion. I'm not sure. It's it's pretty cool though. It's a large coat of arms medallion brooch. It is pretty. It's brass. It's kind of got like a repoussé look to it. It's got some iridescence to the finish. Um, I'm going to say $20 on this and we'll go from there. I think, I mean, 20, I think is fair for that because it's, it's got a really cool look to it, but unless you're real picky about it looking like it's off center, but I think it's supposed to look like that. Okay, this is lot 177. I think these are supposed to be all Art Deco pieces. 177, vintage brooches, brooches, modernist and deco inspired. Okay, so this is the first one, very 80s here. This is done on leather. Looks like it's done by an artist. This is kind of cool. Um, definitely modernist, I'd say. And uh, we're gonna say uh, 10 on that one. This is another more, I don't know. I would say this is more modernist, I guess. This is another one looks very 80s. I'm gonna say 10 on that one. This is a cool, very art deco bar pin. This has the lucite on the top. Look, a couple little scratches in the lucite, but look at how pretty that is. That is really, really quite pretty. Really nice enameling. This one's pretty old, I would say. Um, not necessarily deco time, but maybe like a ode to deco. And I'm going to say 15 on that one. And this is definitely deco. This is a dress clip. And actually, we're looking at, I think, maybe one, two, three, only three, four stones are missing. Maybe five are missing on this, which is actually pretty good for a clip like this. I'm going to say eight on this clip. Here is a little ribbon type of brooch. We'll say five on that one. And then this is a like a safety pin type of piece. And I'm going to say five on that. That's really kind of cool. And lot 176. Vintage brooches, wreaths, rhinestones, bow. OK. 
Okay, what do we have? This is quite pretty, but missing a stone. That will go in repair. Here is our little bow. That's cute. Very nice. And we'll say five on that. Here's another little bow. Little amethyst on there. No markings. Very pretty though. And uh, we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say ten on that one. And here is another little rhinestone, very old piece, very very old piece. That's very beautiful. And uh, we're gonna say eight. This is lovely with the flower. And I'm gonna say 10 for that one. Oh, and here we have a, I, I'm never sure if this is Damascene or um, the other one, because I was corrected once. And Toledo wear, is this Damascene or Toledo wear? I'm not sure. So if somebody wants to tell me, that'd be great. I'm gonna say it's Damascene. Um, it's not marked though. So I wanna say this is Damascene and I don't know if those are real. No, those are not real pearls because this one's kind of scratching. Um, but that is absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna say 30 on this piece. This one's really, really pretty. I've never seen a Damascene uh, wreath like this. And that's super pretty. I like that one a lot. Okay, we're coming to the end of this, all these auction pieces, and then we'll do, tomorrow I'll do a video with the oak lots that I got from the, the same auction. Um, okay, so this is lot number nine. And lot number nine was a 925 signed ME15 Onyx and Sterling earrings. That is not what this is at all. Hmm. I may have to let them know that that is not what I got. This is quite pretty though quite pretty. I like this. Probably like this better than earrings. Huh. Because this is definitely some gemstones and freshwater pearls. But this is... Could this be something else? I don't know. Well, I'm going to set this off to the side for now. I'll take it. I'll take that for sure. Instead of the earrings even. All right. This is lot number 14. This is a shell cameo with marcasites. So look at that. Oh my God. I love cameos so much. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, that is the back. That is definitely shell. I don't know what this material is, though. I mean, obviously, it's not marked, and I don't think, I don't think it's silver. I mean, we can test it, but I really don't think that this is silver. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Here's our solution. Oh, wow. It is turning 
bright blue. So that is silver. Interesting. Very interesting. So this is, that's silver, but it is not, this is not marked at all. I don't see any markings. Unless that's a marking, hold on. That might be a marking right there, but it's super, super tiny. Let me look at it under the loop. Um, yes, and it says sterling. Pretty sure, let me see if I can get this to magnify. There we go. Yep, sure does, it says sterling right there. Wow, okay, okay. Well, hello, Miss Cameo Sterling Marcusite Brooch. How are you doing today? Look at that. That is gorgeous, because that's an all prong set in there. That is just absolutely a stunning setting, to be honest. That is a stunning, stunning setting. Um, so if anybody is interested in this one, look at the detail too. That's really be beautifully done. Not super, super intricate, but it's not, um, it's not poorly done either. It's just really, it's, she's got nice features, nicely done hair. She's got a nice little flower. Um, I'm going to say 75 for her. Beautiful, beautiful. I am thrilled, thrilled. I did not know it was not put in a sterling. And uh, I did not know it was sterling. All right, I love this little guy. Kind of paid up for him, so we'll see. This is, um, uh, what is he? Shoot, what was his number? He was number C178. B Brooch Bug Beetle Vintage Brooch. So I kind of did pay up for him. I just thought he was super cool. He does have red eyes, which I know throws a lot of people off. But look at his little wings. And that is the back of him. So I did pay up for him. I probably paid too much. I don't know. But I just love him. Um, He's definitely old. Almost like a little white jelly belly, but not really. I don't know. He's super cute. In order to get what I got out of him, I'm going to ask 25. Um, I really think, I think he's worth it, but like, look at that detail. Look at the little dots in his wings. I just think he's super cute. So I'm going to ask 25. We'll see. We'll see what you guys think. Let me know what you think about him. I'd love to know your opinion on him. I think he's super adorable. Um, okay, lot 190. Uh, this is all holiday. This is all holiday jewelry. All right, so what did we get? So holiday jewelry, we have a wreath. That is a L, LJM, I guess. These look like, this looks like it was supposed to have little rhinestones. I'm gonna put that in my repair. I'm gonna pop rhinestones in there. And there's Angel with her squeaky. Um, this is a cute little candy cane, very old and vintage. This is fun. Look at how vintage that is. It is an old plastic, but that is super cool. And I'm gonna say 15 on that one. That is super old. Here we have a little, oh, little cute little tack pins with Santa and a Christmas tree all connected. That's super cute. And uh, I'm gonna say $5 for that. Put that in a little baggie. 
What is this? So we have a little holiday. This is supposed to do something. So this is a little, maybe it's just supposed to be plastic behind there. Um, so this is a little Christmas ornament on a bow. And I'm going to say uh, $8 for that one. That's cute. Very cute. Oh, this one's cool. Look at that. Oh my God, that one's super cute and super old. It almost looks like that's on celluloid. That could be celluloid. Look at the fruit. Oh my God, that one's super cool. That's really cool. That's super old. Wow. I love the fruit, the raspberry, or strawberry or raspberry and the little, I don't know what that is. Apple maybe and lemon, lime, grapes, cherries. Wow. That is cool. I'm going to say 25 on that one. That is really, really cool. And that is a very old vintage plastic. Very, very cool. Very one of a kind. That is actually a very, very cool piece. So I'm going to say 25 on that. Oh my God. Look at this one. <gasps> Christmas puppy. Oh my God. This one's great. This is a Jerry's brooch with a Christmas puppy holding a stocking. No way. This is too much. This is too much. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys. Holy cow. Oh, if it was a black dog, I would be keeping this. Oh my God. This is so cute. Um, we're going to say 15 on this one. It is got wear, but it's just so old and cool and cute. This is definitely worth, worth it. That's a good little collector's piece. Um, and this is Christmas set. What could be this? What kind of Christmas set is this? Well, it's just a couple pair of earrings. Oh, this is a cool old pair. Does it match this? No. This is just a really cool old pair of earrings. This is like Holly Berry. Um, old Christmas plastic. Super cool. We're going to say $10 on these. And then this is another really cool. These are metal and enamel. And those are really pretty little holly berries too. And I'm going to say 10 on those as well. Those are super cute. Um, so really great little help. We're ending it on a holiday band, uh, like little bash. Um, I'm going to end up emailing my auction person that I picked up from. Hopefully she'll call me back or email me back because this is not the auction win that I think I'm supposed to have gotten, but I will say, uh, I'll take it. I'll take this. Although I think it might be broken. I'm not sure. I think this is a broken necklace. Although I think, I don't know. I can repair this, but this is a really cool necklace. I'm pretty sure this is all sterling. Um, so I'll find out about this necklace and we'll go from there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. And um, if you liked what you saw and you haven't already subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And don't forget, I have live sales every Thursday and Saturday. So please, I hope when you guys enjoy, um, I hope you guys will join me. Saturdays are my clearance sales. So that's always a fun one to join. And you can always get a good deal on there. And um, don't forget, subscribe. It's always free. And thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.